they killed some of them, a lot of prophets, sure. right? So those are the same guys, man. Like, like, like again, they Daniel seven, and like the elders are saying, because um, everything we get is is like is from the elders, man. You know, like they're saying when you, if you don't know the guy, don't speak on him, which is true, man. I can't personally tell you anything about him. No. Right? I can't tell you his mannerism, how he acts. No. I can I can secondhand uh, make an example of what I heard from the elders, man, because mm -hmm. they were around during those times. Mm -hmm. And and even when you watch this guy's videos, he's a total hypocrite, man. Like I'll give you one case in point. I was watching one of his videos, and it's a well-known fact. He teaches there's no Hebrew. We don't know the ancient Hebrew, but he's breaking down Ham, and then all of a sudden he says Ham, Hebrew for come. Yeah. I'm just like, so so. How does that make sense, man? If the Hebrew's not around, you know. Or another thing, a lot of the guys in, in the congregation. They'll have, oh, his name is a cola, his name is this and that. You'll play yogurt. But then they'll have um, one one of his guys, Yawasab. That's Hebrew, man. Khan. One of his, that, that's Hebrew, right? So it's all, it's all, it's really Babylonian juice they're drinking, man. It's all confusion, you know? Yeah, and just like the brother was saying, he they uh, they say you can call the Most High whatever you want to call him. Where does it say that in the scriptures, man? Total madness, man. Yeah, so it's just like you're saying, we can't we can't really speak on who he was, yep. but I'm speaking on what I see now because when I first came into the truth, I actually used to watch his videos, man. His first video that I watched, he was cutting um, a Rasta, right? And I thought this guy was, uh, he was righteous. So could you imagine if that was my lot to go down that way and follow this guy? This guy would be misleading my soul, right? So what I can, what I can comment on is that his knowledge hasn't grown since the <laughs> since they were back in the old school. <laughs> the elders keep growing. He keeps teaching the same things that yeah. we already knew <laughs> three, yeah. four, five years ago. And and he omits things too, like the huh. name of the Most High. Huh. Right, because back then he obviously knew the name of the Most High. Yep. Right, and his and his son's name. Yep. Right. So like like brother saying, we can't speak on him, but we can we can warn you of him, man. He's a false teacher. Okay. Based on the facts that we get from those Ejimas. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Says, woe unto you scribes and ye Pharisees, hypocrites. Right, what does hypocrite mean? It's in ancient Greek, Hippocrates, that's where you get the word actor from. These guys are actors, right? Like for, for example, Nate Daniel 7, I'll use it again. Uh, IUIC, Israel Uniting Christ. They came to Canada, they came to Toronto, which we didn't even know, okay? We didn't know they went up to uh, what was it say uh, Edmonton West a lot of a lot of Benjamites up there Correct. right yep and they were preaching we didn't know we seen the video after the fact yep okay but they came down here all right those guys are just hypocrites and 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 guess what if we went up there and the, and and literally debated because that that guy in uh Tennessee all right I don't know his name but uh, from the facts gathered up basically he asked the elder Ramlob to to go up there. And uh, from when you ask the elder, like, well, what should I ask him, this and that, you're not really, you know, you're not you're ready. You're not in the spirit. You know, like, if, 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 you know what he's teaching, you know what you're taught, mm -hmm. right? And if you ask an elder, you can ask him for permission, you know, can I, can I go hit him up? Even the brothers in Dallas did that. They said, can we go hit, hit these guys up, you know, debate him. But when you ask, oh, what should I, what do you think I should ask him? What, what do you think I should do? You're really not ready, you know? So if we went up there. You know, and we didn't have the garments on, the fringes. They had the mic, all they would do is talk shit. Oh, where's your fringes? Where's your fringes? Right? That, that's all they would that's all they would say. So but they're hypocrites, man. Yeah. Because they don't they omit the weightier things of the law, which is faith, charity, okay? Mm -hmm. All the, all these things, man. You know? They omit the name of the most sign of son, which is a big weight, man. That's like the foundation of the truth. That is that's the, the key. That's the key. Uh, that, 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 that's your key to the kingdom of heaven. That's the key. And they omit that. Okay? It, it, I wouldn't be surprised if, if when they came to Toronto, someone asked, so what's the name of God? What do you call him? We, you can call him Christ. You can call him Jesus. Call him Buddha. Uh, and they would they would say, that's no different than uh, when I go to Baptist. So Church. I might as well go to fucking Baptist. And, and yeah, exactly. Forget you guys. Exactly, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. And really, if you can call him anything, that, that's, uh, that goes back to the Catholics, man. Yeah. Because it's that universal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, you can worship mean, anything, man. Yep. Buddha's Jesus, Allah's Jesus, they're yeah. all the same. Yeah, just like the Pope. The Pope wears a yarmulke, yep. right? He kisses the Quran. Yep. He, he's in everything. He's in everything because he's about everything. He's about confusion. 
right? It says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous, and say, If we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye generations of vipers. That's the Lord cursing them out, man. You guys say, oh, GMS is well known for cursing guys out. Back then, those were fighting words, man. That's right. You didn't have the word fuck, you didn't have the word shit. All right, when you call someone a serpent, oh, that's, that's a fighting word, yeah. a viper. Yeah. Well, when John the Baptist was baptizing and he was preaching the kingdom of the Most High, he seen some of the Pharisees come. And before they even, they even uh, engaged, he just said, who the hell warned you guys from the, from, from this, <laughs> you know? the generation of vipers, man? So he already perceived, he's seen them, he's like, those guys are wicked as hell. He didn't ask them, oh, what do you think about this? And let, let, let's talk. And, and there was no this. hope for them in his eyes. Yep. Yeah, so so that's why a lot of guys you see on the street they come. We we can see through the spirit. Yo, you're not right, man. Okay, we, we can see through the spirit, man. You know. <laughs> it says, um, "Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify." And some of them, yep. the Yahushai, he was a prophet as well, okay, as long as be as well as being the son of Yahweh. Yep. All right, uh, Peter, right? It, it is said in the history that Nero uh, put him on the cross upside down, so he was crucified, right? Right. Yep. Exactly. It says, wherefore, behold, I said unto you, prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify and some of them ye shall scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. Yep. And in this modern age, it really alludes to, like, you got brothers in, um, in different states, up in Canada, you got provinces, right? And um, we, we, we've been through it ourselves. We had uh, one spot in, in the camp, okay? We got persecuted, we moved to the next spot. The cops came, ran us off. We got, we went to the next spot. So they've been. So that's the, um, that's what it's alluding to. Yeah, and the brothers you making know? it sound nice when you say the cops ran them off. The cops tried to kill them the first spot they were at. Brought the paddy wagon and everything and wanted to lock every single one of them up, man. You know? but that's yeah, that's the spirit. But like the elders, they they of course, man, they they've been through all this, man. So like I'm like I'm saying, the younger brothers, man. Which I, I'm not. When I say that, I'm not saying like, oh, I'm some elder. You know, all the brothers in my camp, they can attest. I never call myself an elder, you know. But I'm saying, like, I'm talking about the young brothers, like, they've been in the truth for one, two years, you know. Man, you just gotta, you gotta just just stick to the to the basics, man. That's that's the best you can you can do, okay. And and how you learn, you be silent. When, when you're silent, that's when you can learn. That's, that, that's when you can in, impart uh, understanding into yourself, you know. Go ahead. And I, this is verse 35. It says that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth from the blood of the righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of uh, ba Barachias, whom he slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee. Like they stoned Stephen, <laughs> right? So Jerusalem is supposed to be the holy city, which it is the holy city in reality, but it's thou that stones the prophets, man. Because people get cut to the heart. They got saying, uh, uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Words hurt, man. Oh, that's a big lie. That's, that's, that's a fable, man. Yeah. Stephen brought up all the history and they, and they stoned them, man. Yep. Yahweh Shai, he, he, he cut them, man. He, 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 he threw spiritual darts at the people. Mm -hmm. That's why they wanted to throw them off the mountain. They wanted to stone them. Hey, uh, when, uh, he, 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 even, he even spoke parables to where it all went over the head. And, and they and got they, mad at that. They got mad at that. <laughs> when, when they said, Behold, uh, before Abraham was I, 
Remember? And then, and then they said, uh, So you're, uh, so now yeah, you're the father? Thou, thou art yet 50 years old. How did thou see Abraham? <laughs> yeah, 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 and they yeah, said, yeah. Behold, before Abraham was I, man. Yeah. And they tried to pick up stones and stone him, man. Yeah. Okay, so words hurt, man. Okay. Yep. And uh, this, this scripture also proves that um, those guys are not in the right spirit also. Because all their congregation, they're into this love spirit and this family spirit and this going to school spirit yeah, and this making money spirit. That doesn't sound like anybody wants to kill you. You know, it's, it's, just, a, it's just a big, it's just a big, what do you call it, uh, facade, man. Yeah, kind of. Okay, it's just, it's just a big cloud of smoke, man. Yep. You know, and, and really the most high, all that steam, the most high is ripping away and you're going to be able to see keenly. Okay, like like uh, like I said, we we had we uh, those brought her information. Nate, Nate Daniels' woman, she had dreams of killing him. Uh, uh, <laughs> who was it? Uh, his right hand guy, I forget his name, but uh, his his wife and Nate Daniels' wife were talking, and she's saying about how she is and she hates Nate Dan his, his husband and all this shit. Mm -hmm. And 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 again to the core concept. When you have too many women together, it's a big fucking problem, mm -hmm. especially in your congregation. Okay, that's why when we have high holy days, okay, I don't know about other camps because I can't speak for them, but through the spirit, you, you, we can tell, you know, that brothers don't bring women because that's not, that's not a, that's not a good custom, man. Okay, and how, and people say, oh, you guys are going off in the Old Testament, you had a uh, woman and everything. Go to the, uh, the blueprint, Yahweh Shai. Who did he have at the Passover before he was crucified? Men. Just men. The 12. He, did he have Mary Magdalene? Did he have nope. his, his mother? His there? mom. Right? He didn't have any woman there. Men. It was it was him and the 12. 12 disciples. Okay? Mm -hmm. So a woman saying, oh, why can't we come to the Passover, man? Just, you know? Mm -hmm. you, you might be in your fucking period, too. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Exactly. You know? Exactly, man. It just it brings confusion, man. That's right. Okay. Yep. And and like I said, how do we get this? Okay. We ourselves haven't experienced this because we we haven't brought in women. We took the advice of the elders because they told us, listen, when we do this, you know, it all brings us confusion. And and brothers, when women are around, brothers tend to get self-conscious and want to show off yep. and want to exalt exactly. positions. Yep. Or other brothers want to move up positions to impress a woman. Because women, all they, all they, when it comes down to women, they love power. Yep. Right. That's what it comes down to. So you got a young brother. You know, the the, the bitch can put all kinds of thoughts in her head. Oh hell yeah. Why are you holding posts? Why, why aren't you speaking? Hell yeah. Of course. And, and trust me, yes. when a woman talks shit in your ear, all right, that'll go straight through your whole system. You'll be thinking about that shit for the next two weeks. <laughs> Alright, you'll be the next time I camp, you're like, fuck, why am I holding this? Why am I not speaking? Okay? And that's Satan. You wanna know why Adam, that, that's how he got Adam, man. That's, that's right. Okay, Cut. she spoke sweet in his ear. You know, probably had that pillow talk. You know? That's what happens, man. That's how um that's how Samson got caught. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. That's a that's a beautiful example. Yeah. That's a beautiful example. Yeah, that's how Samson got caught. So you don't, yeah, like all the you gotta tell shit to your woman, man. You can omit things. And it works. Okay? This brother, this this brother I know for a fact he does it, and he knows I do it. Yeah, okay? and we it works. Omit things, man. <laughs> and they love it because it's like a mystery to them. They wanna get the next, to the next chapter. It's like a book to them, dude. They wanna get to the next chapter, man. Sometimes the chapter is hard, and they go fucking nuts, man. <coughs> Alright, because they, 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 a woman doesn't want to know all, everything about a guy. Once no. she knows everything about you, on to the next, man. Con. You got to be like a mystery, man. Con. Alright? Con. You, you, man. That's right. Alright? Yep. All right. I just finishing up. Verse 37 of uh, Matthew 23. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest pro the prophets, and stonest them which are sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together, even as the hen um, gather her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Yep. That's right. So you're not going to see, and and who's coming in the name of of, of the Lord? That's really Yahushua. Yes, yeah. He's the mediator, man. Which is separate, separated.